Hi. I'm back. I'm back in the land of the living. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's me pom pom. Right. Give me one momento. Uh, oh, I'm a little bit early as well. So, hell, I am Emma from Emma's Happy Place. Um, I have I love arts and crafts basically, and yes, I have my own website now. I design paper kits and other bits. Um, Emma's Happy Place dot UK. If you would like to have a look, and you know, I was just coming. Watch and join in with a bit of chit chat. You don't have to craft. Hello, Brenda. Right. I think. Oh, bear with two seconds. I'm not quite there yet. How are you? I knew there was something I was going to do. I'm just hanging around one more minute. Just I'm a little bit early. I'm a smidge early. <coughs> Um, bear with, I'm nearly there. Um, so how is everybody? Is everybody well? Is everybody okay? Has everybody had a nice week? I am still sniffing. I do apologise and I'm still coughing. But I am back in the land of the living. I've lost a full week, believe it or not. A full week. I mean, who does that? It's ridiculous. Um, if you wouldn't mind just um, giving us a like and a share, because for some reason it never shows us everybody who had an invite. Hi, Gemma. I am feeling stacks better. Um, I have noticed, though, I'm out of breath walking up the stairs like Darth Vader. This 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 is how my pom pom's got spots. This was my pom pom I dropped. It's got nice. I'll pick it back up. But how are you? Oh, we'll move them over. That's something I've been playing with as well. There's so many people got the lurgy at the minute. It's crazy how many people are poorly. Absolutely crazy. And it's I have to say I've upgraded it from cold to flu. Oh, that's all right, Lorna. You get to see on the big screen. So, we're going to do something like this, this technique. So, you get the different layers and it ends up looking. It's awesome, basically. It just looks absolutely awesome. I caught it on the side of the thing, though. So, I, I torn that one, so we're going to do another. I am feeling heaps better. Thank you. I'm so sorry I couldn't come live on Tuesday. I literally... I went to bed at like six o'clock or something and didn't get up until it was about six o'clock the next day. But I'm fine, I'm fine. So I am live on YouTube and Facebook. If you comment on Facebook and I'm answering comments that you can see on you, um, you can't see it because I'm on YouTube, you can always just come over and chat to us there. But I can't see comments. So if there's anything you need to ask or anything like that, we are using acrylic paint tonight. Um, so I've got Junk and Disorderly, which is Indigo Blue. I've got Jane Davenport, which is Creative Expressions, and Golden, which is a paint brand, an artist paint brand. And of course, I've got the Emma's Happy Place tags. Before we get started, I have added some extra bits to the website because they came. And this, this is just... oh. This is just, I mean, look at that. Is he not just adorable? So this was pretty much, uh, I got it because I love him. So that's some of the tape. Um, and moles. I only got us a few because I, was, I wasn't sure on who would want them or whatever. But I got this sunflower, which is this one. Um, <laughs> I got this one basically because of the snail. But it's mushrooms as well. It's like build your own mushrooms, so it's a mushroom top and that. And I've got toadstools, um, toadstools, butterflies, and these are just like filigree, so you can do them golden, build up frames and things like that. But we'll do something with them. Um, 
that that's what I've been playing with. I've been painting them. But <coughs> let's get to the painty painty. I'm going to start off with the pink. And I'm going to put plenty of it on. Well, it's magenta. Has anybody done the colour of the world thing yet? Hiya, Kelly. So I do still have a little bit brown on this paintbrush, but it's fine. All I'm going to do is cover the whole tag. It did have a little bit of water on the brush. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to give it a full coat all over. And this is your base colour. So there probably won't be as much as this shown through at the end. And these tags are the pre-cut die cuts. I should have called them pre-cut die cuts for lazy crafters, but instead I called them something in jelly because we're all joking about jelly. Oh, excellent. I can't wait to see everybody's colour of the world things, honestly. I did another one. So we'll dry that off. I do have a heat tool. Now you've got a month. There's absolutely no rush at all. That was the idea of making it one a month. So nobody was stressed out and trying to do one a week. Let's dry that off. I love magenta. This one, quinacridone magenta, it is just fabulous. Mix that with a little bit um, neon pink or white and it totally changes it. It's fabulous. Mix it with a blue and it makes the most fabulous purple. Just saying. Just going to dry it off. And then, so having the look, I pinched Michael's because he works outside. So I pinched Grumpy's lips still. I have bought him another one because he obviously won't want this one back with the germs but you can use vaseline you can use hair wax whatever what i'm going to do is i'm going to rub it over the top anyway like just bits not totally covering it just bits like that and then we're going to take the blue just pop that there i'm so sorry if i'm breathing like doth i can feel myself still <laughs> it's ridiculous i am rather close to the phone mic as well i am adding a little bit of water to this because this one is a very opaque paint it's a gesso colored gesso but gesso still is an acrylic based paint and then you can already see it resisting so just all over I've just got stupid long handled brushes as well. I'm going to have to get some different brushes that aren't long. For when I'm live. All over again. Plenty on, just slapping it on. And then dry it off again. Yeah, all right, Donna. We're trying to get in the live on Facebook or YouTube. And I know a lot of people have been saying they're having issues with both lately. And I was just thinking, oh my gosh. My gosh. So you can already see where the lip cell's melting and where it's um, resistant. And this, I mean, this on canvases, this on art journals, this on your tags. It's just, it's incredible. You can make rusty looks. Um, obviously, you've seen the one with the alcohol ink, which we can do a good night if you want. I can show you the alcohol ink one again. The alcohol and acrylic paint, if you want, straight after this. Just dry that off. And then I'm going to take a tissue and rub all the paint away that was on top of... the lip seal. Now this is an old technique, it's a resist technique. You can remember the crayon techniques and things. This is like an advanced version of that. Let's grab a bit more because that was already... Wouldn't let you come out. It's so strange. I'm going to rub all that off. And I mean already you can see how cool that looks. It's totally cool. We're going to go in with the brown next though. 
Now, this is, I've had it absolutely ages. And what I found was it did dry up because, again, it was in the box next to the radiator with everything else. But all I did was I added water to it and shook it, and it's absolutely perfect. <coughs> Hi, Jane. No problem at all. No problem. So, again, taking the lip cell, and we're going to go over again. Just at random. Oh, losing it. We'll hope Grumpy isn't watching because it's his. I don't think you'll want it back anyway, covered in my germs. <laughs> you better keep it. So this is now the craft one. <laughs> and if you are going to add water to any of your paints, so to leave in the bottle, use um, cool boiled water because it will mould if you don't. It's like the equivalent uh distilled water, isn't it? And then pop the brown. Again, you'll see loads of it resisting. But it will stay where there's no lip cell. Plenty on. And I know these waxes and things you can get in the art world that helps you do this. But if we've got lip cell and Vaseline. A petroleum jelly. It's probably cheaper. Oh, fish and chips. Christopher had um, chicken wraps. I haven't had anything yet. Well, I say I haven't had anything. I had a um, mini eggs nest cake. Probably not the best idea, considering. So how's everybody's week been? Tell me, tell me, what have you been up to? Dry all this on again. Just takes a couple of seconds. Would you like us to do the acrylic with the alcohol technique on another tag? And then we'll move on to decorating this one. Um, gelatos, no, because they're a water-based one. Wax crayons will resist both. Um, I suppose you can melt them and wipe them back. But vas this, for this technique in particular, Vaseline would work best. Yeah, I'll do the other one as well then. Or hair wax, that would work as well. Um, one back. And I'll probably put more lip balm on this one than the other one. But I actually really like this one better. With the less brown, I mean, how cool is that? Can we see? Oh, how fabulous! It's, I love that. Right, I'm gonna grab another tag. I'm gonna put that there. Grab another tag. I've got a little one. Right, and this time we'll start off with the blue. So this time round, what you want is you really want to water it down. Have I got my spray? Oh, I don't. I got it in my pocket. I don't. Bear with. I just need to grab some water. I'll be two seconds. I think it's on the kitchen. No, it's not here. It's behind me. So this time round, I want loads and loads of water. You want it really quite watery, but saying that, you want it really quite watery, but you don't want to lose, like, you don't want the paint to be watery. So it's probably 50-50, paint and water. Oh, actually, where's the alcohol? Before we get started on that. Um, <coughs> there it is. Right. Oh. Plenty of water down paint. And then the alcohol is just the rubbing alcohol. You know the stuff that you use in like first aid kits and things? It's a very cool looking this. So this one sort of when you think about the science of water and wax, like water base and wax, the wax like resists water and things like that. The, um, the alcohol repels the 
acrylic. So that's kind of how this one works. It's all science. It's just science. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to go with, Sheila, the mini eggs cake. I will have something when I come off here, though. But straight away, you can see already, let's give it a cool effect. But then you just dry it. You don't touch the alcohol or anything. You just dry it. Golden wax? It could be, yes. But I think the paint would go over the top of it. Because um, it's... Um, how do I... Yeah, because especially the pent up one that's a beeswax try it it could look really really cool it's just the rubbing it off that would like rubbing it back there's loads and loads of different re um, resist techniques try them all and see which ones you like best try the wax try the crayons and things i mean i know the crayons and um, we used to color the whole um, page with crayons brightly coloured and then paint over with acrylic paint and then scratch it that's how we used to make like the scratch boards and things all right clean that and more water and this time we'll go for the pink now the pink is a transparent the magenta so it'll look totally different It'll be far too much there as well. Plenty on. Yeah, the best way to find out if anything works is just to try it. It's like, uh, the golden wax and things are made to be permanent. So I don't know what's in them. Try it though. Show us. Try it and show us that's an even better idea. Oh. Plenty on, plenty water. And then again with the alcohol. Excellent. And straight away you can see this one. I don't know if I can move you in. A smidge. Pushing the colour away. And again, this will change what it looks like every single time. You use a different colour. Right. And we'll dry it off. Oh. And you can see there where it's soaked in. Oh, excuse me. Just keep drying. This as well on grey board and things. There's loads of different techniques, honestly, when it comes to the world of there's so many techniques. So yes, don't forget to like and share. Stick a little thumbs up or a heart on and share if you can. That would be absolutely fabulous. To so anywhere you're allowed to, don't get yourself into trouble. We can't be having anybody in trouble. I mean, that there, you could stop there, and it's fabulous. It's just ace. I think this one has to be my favourite. I did a massive big MDF butterfly with this whole technique, and I absolutely loved it, honestly. So, again, lots and lots. I would always gesso the MDF first, though. And then go in with the brown all over nice and wet and this brown is a very very red brown anyway so it's perfect for rust and things like that that's why i like it so much and again with the alcohol you have to work quite quick you don't want it to dry or else it won't move It, it's incredible, isn't it? What you can do with a bit of paper. It makes me so happy. So, so happy. And then this with um, texture paste and things over the top of it. And then the golden wax on top of that. You could make some proper rusty, vintage-y. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. 
<laughs> I'll wipe that up. And then I'm going to lift the camera back up because I've got about three inches. I'll dry that off. And different colours give all different kinds of effects. I mean, I used blue, white, and um, blue, brown, and yellow on this one, so it looks totally different to this one. And then the other ones I put pictures up of um, from this technique look totally different as well. And I did a rusty one, like a rusty patina one, which is here, and I did a full A4 sheet, so that looks totally different as well. Also, use oh on different cards and things these different cards work in different ways yeah amazon that's where i get the alcohol from i buy it in big uh, litre bottles as well because it's great for cleaning your gas, gas mat it's great for getting stuff off your paint brushes it's great for antiseptic i buy loads of it if you leave the lids off your alcohol pens, you can squirt a bit in, it'll make it work until you can get a refill. <laughs> right. And there we go, there's that one. It's so cool. And it's not really a messy technique. My hands are messy because I was painting the resin. So now, which one do I play with? Let's see. So we are going to do some colour tonight because I didn't do any colour on the other night. I'll lift that up. And I have got this one because I thought this one would be absolutely perfect to go on the bigger tag. Now, I'm not bothered about the background so because I just want the flower in this case. And I do need... Oh, oh, oh some paint which i've buried because well you know it's me <coughs> oh also the pantone color for this year i put on facebook a while ago but helen popped it back up is peach fuzz now to make the peach fuzz color if anybody does want to play with it let me find a bit of scrap of paper i'll just do it down here to make the peach fuzz, it's obviously a pink and an orange and then a white. But if you've got a skin tone, like this one here, why is that not other? You're pretty close to it already. Hang on, let's just... So that's not far off at there. But to make it... So I've made some here and then I added more to it. Like an orange and a pink, and you get like a darker peach colour. And all you need to do is add white to it, and maybe a little bit of brown if you want. Because this skin tone, anyway, I would always add a little bit brown to it. But there you go, that's your peach fuzz. Just just in case. So what else we've got? We've got blue, magentas, browns. Let's activate these. Oh, I wonder if I can spray teenagers with it. <laughs> right, I need a bigger, I'll use this one. Do you know where all my water brushes have gone? I'm going to fill it up. So in all my water sprays, I use cool boiled water. All of them. Oh, that was me. And that way, you don't get the weird floaty bits in. Because it doesn't go mouldy. Right. So let's go with, we'll go with a purple and we'll mix it with a pink as well. Why not? 
So I've got a pinky purple. So what I'm going to do is go over the flowers. Again, I'm not worried about staying inside the lines because I'm going to fussy cut this one out. But with these ones here, the step into colour kit, you can just die cut them out and you've got the image and just cut round it because the backgrounds are there anyway. But obviously, the option to do more with them is there if you want to. And this one, I think, will go more purple. There we go. And these here, I keep meaning to bring the cup in to show you my cup with the artwork on. I think I put the picture up in my towel and I even got my sister got his fridge magnets with them on for Christmas as well. And all these pit, all these images are on them. Oh, I have to say it's my favourite. The start is off as canvases. Possibly two years ago. Maybe it's a bit more. Oh, there we go. Yeah, absolutely. It's a must, isn't it? And then you absolutely do not want to put tap water in them. I've ruined so many. And then it was oh, a few years ago, I seen Grumpy putting boiled kettle water in the car. You know how you're supposed to put distilled water in? And I asked him why. And he said, and I said, oh, you know what? That could be why all my art stuff's going moldy. Or it might be my dad, actually. <laughs> Can't remember. There we go. Plenty of colour down. Two seconds. They're really easy to colour these. And to be honest, if you do want to cut them out, they're really easy to cut out as well. Well, we will dry that off and grab some pencils. Yeah, the mouldy water's horrible, isn't it? And stinks like feisty apple. Right, so I'm going to bring in the Posca pencils. Obviously, you use whatever you've got. Whatever you like. And we'll go with... I think what I'm doing is adding in some dark colours at the bottom just to break it up. Not too hard. You don't want to press on too hard because then it will burnish it in and you'll not be able to work over the top of it. Oh, I don't even know if I've got one of these. I've got a red one, actually. You don't, might not have to watch us cut it out. What's everybody's plans for the rest of the week? Is it work or are you crafting or...? Anything good? Oh, you can't really see much, but when I lift it up, you can see the difference in the colour. Actually, let's just go in with some darker blue. So you don't want too much, but this will just give you the shadows. So it's mainly just following the line and then a little bit at the bottom. And this is where you'll see it really sort of pop out. And it doesn't have to take ages to do. But once I get started doing these, I can just sit in colour for days. I get totally lost in it. I love it. I can really see it starting to pop and see them starting to come forward. Oh, fabulous. Is there any crafty places you go to while you're here? 
this weekend. I've, I'll probably be catching up on washing. Turns out when you lose a week when you're a grown up, everything just goes. There's nobody that cleans your bathroom. There's nobody that hoovers the hall. <laughs> your washing basket ends up full to the brain. <laughs> And obviously, I need to speak to Christopher as well, because poor kid. He's had to fend for himself all week. At least I know he can look after himself and he'll not starve. He's been ever so good, bless him. I mean, he is 14, so he should be, but I'll give him extra credit for being male. <laughs> There we go. That's a good idea. That would be a little bit every day, even if it's just 10 minutes. So again, I'm going to go in with the blue. I am going to stop, though, and I am going to move over to the red one just because you'll all be bored to tears watching. And I get totally absorbed in this. I'll forget to speak. There we go. That's how I do it anyway. And I'm sure you've all seen us do it 50,000 times before. And then I would go in with a white acrylic pen. Obviously, I would do the leaves as well. And just bring them all to life with a hint. Hint of white. And this could be a gel pen. It could be whatever you like. And the leaves. But it really does make it all totally pop. Never get bored. Do you not? See, I feel like it's I'm taking too long. But anyway, I do have I have oh I've been colouring. This is this is literally what I've managed in a week, may I add. How pathetic is that? But I did cut this one out. <laughs> Normally I've done so much and I'm ready. But with having the magenta on, I think that'll work really, really well. But what I do want to show is that you can actually go over the top of these as well and add more colour to them if you want. So I'm going to take this purple. There is a slight resist on them for watercolours, but pencils and alcohol pens... So you can change it. If you've used a certain colour in the background, you want to use one of the coloured images and you want to add a hint of something else, you can absolutely go in and add more so your colours match. So I really do want you to take the kits and make them your own. Just because I've done it one way doesn't mean you have to use it that way. Just super quick. I love that more already. I maybe should have done this to them. <laughs> but it could have been blue. It could have been just white. It could have been a pale peach. And they would all show up. Like that, and just add a little bit more. And go back in with the white again. It's It seems hard, doesn't it? Isn't January a weird month? I find that I seem to be, like, till the end of January, I have no idea what the year's going to be like or what I'm supposed to be doing. It's like I just forget everything. Like, what, what did I do last year? It's been a whole year since I knew how to adult. <laughs> like, January should just be a write-off. It's like a practice month. There we go. So that is that. And then... Excuse me. <coughs> Dear. <coughs> this is ridiculous. This is one of the backing papers. Oh, and I love it. But I do like to cut the backing papers off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these four. But any other bits, you can, we're going to make some franken paper at some point. I do want to show this. And all your little scraps and everything like that, keep them for us because I think you're going to like it. I really do think you're going to like it. Because I, I don't often use the backing papers as full sheets. 
and I often have bits left over. So keep all your little bits. And we'll, we're going to do something with them, which would be cool. Oh, there we go. We've got some of them. And then we're going to glue them down. Now, this has still got quite a bit of wax on it. So I'm just going to try and get... There we go, just needed a little, a little bit more. I do have to say these pens are sold out on the website. I'm trying to get more. I am, I am. But I've made my own background now, so I'm adding these just to something else to the background. They do look like eyes. Wouldn't it be cool on a monster or something? I'll have one here. And it's building things up, taking something that somebody else has done, i.e. me, and changing it to make it into something for you that's totally different without it really taking that much effort. I'm going to grab some jelly. Not that one, I want a smaller one. <coughs> Um, hold on, and I've got a smaller one. I do, I do. So we'll have some jelly and maybe. No, we'll not have that one on. I'm thinking. What am I thinking? Yes, I'm thinking that, but I'm also thinking we need something else in the background. So I'm, we'll stick this on. To the... And we're building up the layers. I was um, talking the other day about the layers and things on stuff. And especially if you're making like books and things for older people with um, like memory issues or in care homes or kids, like anybody with sensory issues, either the blind or whatever. Hi, Krista. I've been messaging you since Christmas. Rude. You best go and read them and reply because I think one of your children have been opening your messages. We're making this very sad. <laughs> oh, I've dropped my lid. What we're going to do is that instant karma for telling you off. Oh, get some splats going on. Where's my lid? I don't want to lose that. It's the only white pen I've got that I haven't destroyed. Put there for now. And then we'll build this up. <laughs> she gone. <laughs> she said hello, then vanished. But I'm not dealing with that now. I've been ignoring her. <laughs> yeah, me and Krista used to be next door neighbours, and now we like live down just down the street from each other. And you think we lived a million miles away from each other? How often we see each other? It's insane. But she's got um, two young boys who use a phone and things, but they just wipe messages off. So they look like they've been read and they're just hiding them from her so she doesn't see anything. <laughs> mm. Let's, I think I might need a kingfisher on here as well. Do you think that might be taking it a bit too far? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave the kingfish at another page because I just want to put everything on it. There we go. And then that there, and then let's grab 
sheet of sentiments I've got. And oh, learn and grow. I think. There we go. Learn and grow. I'm more than happy with that. I'm very pleased with that. The kingfishers are oh, honestly, I'm so so excited. They just came in the other day and I put them straight on the web because I know I've been on about them. They are absolutely and they're not little little either. Should we? The little blue flowers might be quite nice, actually. So it is a full length of tape, but you can just because clear it around so nobody's gonna see. But you know what? Just because I was at my grandma and granddad's when I was a kid, we were sitting in the kitchen and they lived out in the wilds of Winnie. And a uh, we were sitting and there was a massive bang and I was sitting in front of the window and I kind of ducked. Hiya, Helen. And I kind of ducked and this kingfisher flew into the window and its beak, it, it looked like um, like a bullet had hit the window. And my granddad, obviously living out in the wilds of Winnie, he went out, this, if he was dead, it, was not, it couldn't be saved. He picked it up and brought it in and put it in the freezer to have it stuffed. Like, I was like, what on earth? <laughs> Totally shocked. So he could be sitting on top of the jelly. And I love him. Yes. I'm so pleased to added him. Isn't he cute? So they are clear stickers. And these ones, they do have like a little bit of hologram to them. But I love them. This and the pink. And the pink birds. They're stunning. These tapes, honestly, this can be used for so, so much. In fact, we could have added leaves and foliage behind. But I just didn't want to add and hide too much of the background but this one is the alcohol and acrylic and this one is the lip balm and acrylic and it's just stunning and this one i think i'm feeling some of the molds i'm going to turn him into a key ring and we might give him away oh we could this could have a babe on and some toadstools couldn't it but yes Anyway, I will love you and leave you. Moles and things are on the website. The Kingfishers are on the website. I will see you back here Sunday at 7 p.m. Because I am like in the 7 p.m. start. I'm not like, I always feel like I'm starting to talk a completely different language by the time it gets to 8 o'clock. But have a lovely rest of the week. So sorry I missed Tuesday. So sorry you've had to listen to us bruise like Darth and cough. But I'm happy to be back crafting and back in the land of the living. Yes, Helen, watch back. Um, it's been lovely. I've had a lovely play. And I will see you all Sunday. Lots of love. It's Thursday day. I'll see you Sunday or Thursday. Whatever day it is today, I'll see you the next time I'm usually on. Bye for now.